Pouring numbers like equations Trench talk When you jump up off the porch as a youngin' And start posting on the block with the junkies And get it bouncing What's good, what's good, man? Heard the news, man, I couldn't wait, man Killer, killer, cam, cam Back in Carolina, man Man, that's a blessing, wonderful day, man I can't get the opportunity to go back home You know what I mean? Play for the team that you know what I mean? He created his legacy with the Carolina Panthers, man. Just a matter of time before the can get back in that starting role. You know what I mean? Got to go through the playbook. You know what I mean? Get back in NFL shape. You know what I mean? He always in shape. You know what I mean? Look, man, I've been riding with Cam since the big fucking preseason, my nigga. But I'm a Cam Newton fan from the beginning. You know what I mean? Hey, look, Cam, you, you back in the lead. Let's change the jersey number to number, uh, number two. T t change it back to number two, man. <laughs> yeah, Cam, I see the video too, the vlog. That shit was hot too, boy. I love it, boy. All them doubles out there, man. Cam back, man. I'm saying um, people still talking crazy about Cam, man. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Will he, be, will, will he be able to change the culture as far as that quarterback room? Cam can win a lot of games not even throwing a ball, man. <laughs> like, literally, man. I believe a lot of the games in New England, in the beginning, Cam would have won those with his legs. Easy. That would have been a landslide. You put Cam, um, Cam with Carolina right now. Would Think about it. When I look at this team, it's, it's, it's constructed the way it was when they went to the Super Bowl with that good defense. And then you got Gilmore over there. They got, man, they got boy. Hey, look, they can make some noise for real, for real. You know what I mean? You get the quarterback play to, to, to come up a little bit. You know what I'm saying? So, like I say, Cam, everybody in Carolina wanted Cam to come back. They was calling for Cam. Like, where Cam at? Where Cam at? Bring Cam in. Fully healthy. No foot problem. No injury. He went, look. I told Cam. I kept saying in my video, I said, Cam, go get vaccinated, bro. Leave no excuses on the table. Now he signed again. You know what I mean? Is my crystal ball going to be real? Is Cam going to the Super Bowl? <laughs> that'd be crazy, right? Like, that'd, be the, that'd be the craziest thing ever, man. You know what I'm saying? I made that prediction. Because uh, I thought the way they put the, get together the New England Patriot team, I was like, man, that's a Super Bowl team right there. When they went and got the two tight ends, they had a good running game, good solid defense. So, damn, would that be a coincidence? Then I, I see Odell Beckham went over there with the Rams. Man, that man. If this this team put together so good right now that it's like, man, like I don't even know how they lost the other day. Who the hell they lose to? I forget who they lose to. But I don't know how the hell they lost like that. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? With all that talent and stuff like that. I, I, I guess everybody had hiccups, but... We getting into that position where we starting to figure out who gonna be a dominant playoff team. Now, when we look at Tampa Bay Buccaneers, there's no question where they gonna be at. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The Chiefs then completely fell off. You know what I mean? Then the Ravens. I don't know what's going on with that. It's like a lot of teams that was good in the beginning is starting to cool off, or the, the focus ain't there. And the same thing with the Carolina Panthers. That's why I say Cam Newton. This is what I feel about Cam, right? <clears throat> he went through a lot of humbling experiencing. You know what I mean? So he ain't going to be the Cam from back in the days. He's going to be a mature, more humble Cam to understand that, you know what I mean, the game is to be taken seriously on all levels. Not to say he never took the game seriously because he played at a high level for a long period of time. I just feel like sometimes, you know what I mean, we got to just be humbling and then do our research, like the vac vaccination, me getting sick. Man, that was the awful stuff, bro. Like, seriously, man. That, man, that stuff ain't no goddamn joke, man. I was sitting in ICU and all of that. Man, go get that shot, man. <laughs> go get your vessel to vaccinate. Like I said, I don't tell no man or no grown woman what to do, but uh, if I got a choice, I'm going to get vaccinated. You know what I'm saying? I don't care what you talking about. Y'all talking about all that uh, Nicki Minaj, your balls swelling and all that. I'm like, bro, come on with the jokes. <laughs> I'm a grown-ass man now. <laughs> For real, don't happy about the camp thing, though. Odell Beckham. Odell Be I, said, I don't know the round thing. I don't know. We'll see what happened with that. 
You know what I mean? I would have thought, like when I looked at ODL, the Patriots to me, I, it would have been a good fit. And the reason why I would say that, maybe the culture would have not fit his personality. But as far as just Matt Jones and what they're doing on the field, I think it would have went well for him because you can't tell me that the Patriots got a wide receiver like Odell. And like I said, he would have been open a lot. So, you know what I mean? Like I said, Odell had been living off his name and not his production for so long. Like Odell Be uh, Beckham is like a legendary name. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, like when you go watch one of them old movies where niggas is like, they got this legendary status. Yeah, he used to beat up her. That's like the Mike Tyson thing. Like, even though we know Mike might knock a nigga ass out right now, Floyd too. But... I can't even use them as examples because we know Mike will knock a nigga ass out. But this is say like an old fighter or something that been he was great for so many years, but now he retired and you know what I mean he ain't been doing that stuff no more. So I still feel old oh, that got a lot in the tank. It's just like that. Um, who else? It was another guy. Oh, uh, there's a couple of guys. You got the AJ Green now going with the Cardinals. Look out how that look. Like it's just a lot of guys that just, you put the right quarterback in place. Things change, you know what I'm saying? That's what I be feeling, but I feel like Odell Beckham got a lot on the tank. I feel like I can't never understand why the Brown situation didn't work. <clears throat> cause I, I'm like, is Baker Mayfield that bad of a quarterback? We'll see, cause they playing New England um and with Sunday. I wanna see how good New England really is, cause Matt Jones has oppressed me this year. Really oppressed me as a rookie. Like he's the best rookie quarterback, hands down. You know what I mean? And like I said, I can't predict the future because sometimes what happened with this type of situation, dude be hot and then, then he fall off. Like, you know what I mean? We seen that. And then you see the other quarterbacks starting to learn the playbook, starting to become better quarterbacks. So we'll see with his end thing. But like I say, Bill Belichick is the greatest coach of all time. So <laughs> I don't think he having it. So, I mean, I, I would never doubt Bill Belichick coaching. I was mad about that Cam Newton thing. Hurt my heart, bro. I was mad, bro. Like, I, I was hot about that, man. But I'm going to tell you something, though. Antonio Brown, bro, like, to go back to New England, apologize to that organization. This is why when I look at the Cam situation, I'm like, I respect Cam because he didn't leave being disrespectful, bro. He left with, like I say, like, his mom and dad did a hell of a job with that, with he got his ego, he got his pride, he got all of that, but he a man at the end of the day. And that's what I respect about Cam. Cam made videos about him working out, got a job with New England. Cam got vaccinated, went back to Carolina. Cam did his research. That's what I want Kyrie to do. I'm a big Kyrie fan. Man, I got like so many Kyrie's pair of shoes. <laughs> I'm like, is the nigga gonna ever get on the court again, bro? I'm a big Kyrie fan. Everybody know I'm a LeBron, LeBron number one, but I rock with Kyrie. I want him to see him play. I don't know what the fuck they doing. Like I say, Cam did his research. He understand that the come on, bro, we need it. You bro, this stuff ain't no joke. You know what I'm saying? I was in ICU, so I know. <laughs> it ain't no joke. Yo, know I man, it ain't no joke. So, like I say, y'all can say what y'all want to say about that. I'm going to get vaccinated, period. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> say what you want to say. But, I'm, like I say, go back to Cam for a minute. His mom and dad did a hell of a job because when he ain't, like, a person like myself, <clears throat> like I said, had my mom, sometimes I would, I would get emotional instead of being logical. And that's like understanding that it was an opportunity. Don't. Don't, don't, don't run your mouth. Even though you may feel that passion at the moment, don't go running your mouth. Just say, great opportunity. I'm, I'm happy with it. Allow me to do it. And I think as a man, growing into those different levels, you got to learn how to control yourself. And I was talking about Antonio Brown, how he apologized to the organization of New England. That's that man, Tom Brady and Antonio Brown. Like, bro, and I'm a big Antonio Brown fan. I was mad, boy. He went to the Raiders. Like, we all know I'm an Eagles guy to the core. But it's certain players that I watch and I enjoy watching them. Antonio Brown, Cam Newton. I enjoy watching them. Peyton Manning back in the days. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I never was a Tom Brady guy because he beat my Eagles in the Super Bowl. I, uh, I couldn't stand him and Bill Belichick. 
But I give credit where credit is due. Uh, um, Tom Brady is the greatest quarterback to ever play the game, period. And Bill Belichick is one of the greatest coaches of a uh, coach. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I mean? Tom won the Super Bowl last year. Can Bill get there? The Patriots right now is on pace for, I don't know, man. I, I could see the Patriots doing something big defensively. Because this is what I feel like. Matt Jones is so developing that um, I just don't know what he looked like under pressure. Like real pressure, not not this this, this regular season stuff. I'm talking about playoff pressure. The games changed. Think about last year. Who would have ever imagined that the Buccaneers defense would have turned to with that? That was a monstrous defense, bro. I'm like, yo, they had Aaron Rodgers on. Like what they did to the Chiefs was crazy, bro. I don't give a damn what nobody said. That was that was impressive, nigga, for the stop Pat Mahomes like that. Now, he looked like hot garbage right now, but I'm saying, like, yo, that was crazy to me. I, I can't lie. Then the, the beat Drew Brees and Aaron Rodgers, man. And it won't just time, though. That's what I'm saying. It was fucking that defense, bro. Man, that shit was lights out. It was Ty Ball. Man, he got to go down as one of the great good defensive coaches, man. That, that, that was... Man, that was scary, G. How they went to the Super Bowl and did that, man. So I'm like, oh, that's why I say nobody want to see Buccaneers. <laughs> I don't give a damn if it's the Rams or whoever. Because like I said, what when I'm watching is they letting everybody rest. Like I'm like, uh, Tony Brown out this week too. Grump out this week. <laughs> like everybody out for the week. Oh like, bro, what's going on? They resting the fuck out these niggas, cuz y'all better be ready. Y'all better be lock and loaded. And then Cam, if Cam started, and they got, you know what I mean? But like I said, I don't know if the coach is a buyer of Cam. But like I said, if he is, though, man, people don't understand. Cam is a hell of a nigga when it comes to, man. Cam is a hell of a player when it comes to this football, man. <laughs> like, I'm not co-signing some bum dude. This Cam Newton is the real deal. Hey, Cam, we got to change that jersey number to number two, man. <laughs> Go back to number two, man. That's going to be crazy, man. The rebirth, though. You know what I'm saying? Cam Newton, bad, bro. The rebirth, not the old Cam with the one, the number two. Go back to the two. That'll be live, though, Cam. Go back to the jersey number two, bro. That'll be crazy, right? Back in the lead, bro. <laughs> Man, I thought it was, was going to take another. I thought it was going to take another year, bro. I was like, damn, ain't nobody calling Cam. I keep checking my damn YouTube, checking all the feed. Nobody signed Cam yet. I'm like, man, I got about 10 Cam Newton videos. <laughs> I said, I got to stop making the Cam Newton videos, cuz. But like I say, I don't know what I mean. I'm riding with Cam, though, because I'm like, bro, niggas ain't about to just do Cam dirty like that, bro. I ain't going to say nothing. I felt some tight weight, bro. <laughs> I was mad at Bill Belichick for that, man. Matt Jones a hell of a player, but Cam still a hell of a nigga, too, boy. You know what I'm saying? But, damn, that, yeah, I'm, I'm happy, bro. I'm just hoping they don't play around with my man. You know what I'm saying? Let him get an opportunity to get on that field, man. Like, he fully healthy, bro. He got he had, like, two years to recover. Like, bro, Cam is, is going to be a problem. Like, I don't care what none of the media niggas saying, bro. Cam going to be a problem, G. Cam going to be a problem. That's all I got to say. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got to talk too much. You know what I'm saying? Odell Beckham, though. I want to see him be Odell again, bro. Like, he ain't been the, like I said, he been living off his name, bro. Like an old Western nigga. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's the legend of John Barry or some shit. Like, yeah, he was the greatest gunslinger back in the days. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, how many years ago that nigga was slinging guns, nigga? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? His reputation, his name so big that his production ain't been there. Is it the quarterback play? He been injured too, though. Like, been injured a couple of times too, though. So, you know what I mean? Like that Des uh, Deshaun um, Jackson situation when he came back to Philly. I was mad about it because he kept getting injured. We never could really see him with Carson Wentz or nobody. You know what I'm saying? Wanted him to get a ring with us, but our team didn't. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They, they were showing stats of um, Jalen Hurts and um, Matt Jones, and they were showing that Matt, <laughs> that Jalen Hurts had better stats or whatever. And I'm like, really? I mean, I couldn't tell, motherfucker. <laughs> I ain't going to go crazy on Jalen Hurts. I know this is his first year starting in the NFL, so 
it's, it's almost like he a rookie again, but not quite so. You know what I mean? But like I say, uh, it's a different game when you actually out there. All that practice shit, that's cool. But nigga, when you on the field, that's the only way you can really get the adjustments right. <laughs> I think if you give him a second year in the system, I think he'll be spectacular. You know what I mean? But like I say, I don't know what's going to happen with that quarterback play thing. You know what I mean? James Winston, I don't know what's going to happen with that. Like I say, it ain't no good quarterbacks coming out of the draft this year like that. So I, I feel like a lot of people going to stay home and just groom what they got and perfect it. But damn, back in the NFL, bro. I'm so excited, so happy about that, man. Like, words can't even... No, nah, man, big Cam fan, man. I, 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 man, I told you, I had that whole video about Cam getting vaccinated. Watch what happened. Got a job. <laughs> Got a job immediately. You know what I'm saying? Not immediately, but... Once he put that blog out there, I ain't retiring this and that. He handled it so professional that I'm just sitting back like no emotional shit. Just handling it perfect. Even though I know on the inside, nigga, like, damn, why they playing with me like that? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Even Odell. I'm like, well, Odell could sign any goddamn way. But I'm saying, like, they trying to, like, wash um, Cam away. But now I can't get, go back to Carolina. I just, man, I can't wait to see Cam playing with Carolina. You know what I'm saying? I know Cal, I can't wait. It's going to take about two weeks, though, man, or probably more for him to really get the playbook down like that. You know what I'm saying? But it is what it is, G. I'm out. If you would like to support me, I have all natural products that you can use in your day to day. Products from household products, beauty products, weight loss products, even products that can help you focus and also relieve stress. And even if you're having problems with sleeping, I have all natural products that can help you with that. I also have products that can help and boost the immune system. You know right now we're going into that cold and flu season and you may need an immunity pack to boost that system up. And we got all natural products that can help with that. We also got products, cooling products and heating products that can help with pain from feet pain. Because I deal with that all the time being a diabetic. I deal with feet pain. So I have this cooling spray that helps relieve you of pain. And listen, guys, these all natural products is the best thing for you. You need to get away from the chemical things that we are normally using in the household. But now we can switch it up. Now that I got the website, I got it. I'm going to allow y'all to email me and get an exclusive look at the website and y'all could be able to purchase these things at your timely uh, period and enjoy. When you email me, I'm going to give you an exclusive look of all access at of the website and you're going to be able to pick the products that best fit your lifestyle or what that you need right now from the immunity pack. Maybe some household products that you need. That's all natural beauty products that you may need. That's all natural. I'm going to give you an all access look when you email me. I want to build a relationship with you so we can be able to talk about the things that you may need in your life, the quality of of things that you may need within your life. And I want to give you the best quality and the best product that fits you within your lifestyle. And when we have this conversation, if you are diabetic or you have any type of issues, we want to be able to assist you in a natural sense and to be able to give you the things that will be productive within your lifestyle. So when you email me, we're going to have a great and amazing conversation and we're going to break down what it is that you need. And we're going to provide it for you on the website and we're going to put you right in that all assets pass situation so you'll be able to get what benefits you and your lifestyle and what you need right now. But thank you guys. And I appreciate all the support that y'all been giving me each and every time y'all watch the videos. And like I said before, email me and we're going to be able to hook you up with that all access pass. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning to everybody out there, man. Family and friends out there. If you're tired of your nine to five or you're trying to make some money outside your nine to five, email me at this address right here. I got a great, great and amazing opportunity for you. And I would love to help you and to bring some value to your life. Email me or inbox me so we can have a deeper and in-depth conversation about the opportunity that lies before you. If you're trying to make extra money outside your nine to five or you're just tired of your nine to five and you're ready to move on and to become an owner, email me or inbox me and let's have that dope and amazing conversation. Blessings to all my friends and family out there, man. I love all of y'all. appreciate all y'all support and I just love 
that y'all be giving me nothing but positive energy. Everybody, every friend, every family member, man, I thank y'all just for always believing in me. Bless. Hey guys, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also hit that like button. And when you hit that notification bell, it will always let you know every time that I upload new content.